Okay, step by step. I have not done one of these before. And you're seeing what I'm seeing. You're going to hold that up there like that. I'm going to hold it where it needs to go. And I can see that I've got to come way down. I'm going to loosen that up a little bit more. Just enough that I can spin it by hand freely. That. Okay, so now, man, what I, I guess what I could do on this top one is put this first screw in. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And this is just going to be so I can set it exactly where it needs to go. Ah, come on. Ah. Maybe that was going to happen. I knew it. See? It happens to Joe, too. Ah. Okay. Now, now I can swivel this down, and I have to take that and angle that so I can see. I can see where it's going to go down at this end too, right? Let's just see. You see what I mean? We just have to swivel this into place where it goes. Okay, that goes up like that. And I can see where those screws are. Okay, and I can line this one up and I see that, that that has to be pushed down a little bit. I can take that and swivel that. You see what I'm saying? When I ultimately have all these screws line up exactly where they need to go, and that looks like it needs to come down just a little bit. Still working, I got the video on. I don't care. Yeah. Okay, so you just have to keep messing with this. Tighten that up, swivel that, hold that up there. And I'm gonna check out both of them before I set these screws. Pops wants in, so I better stop and get right back to you. Slick, okay, I got it just about ready. Remember on this one I said there was a little mark there? Well that wasn't the mark, that was a pencil mark. Because once you cut the hole, you do have a little bit of room to slop, to push this one way or another in the hole, okay? That way you can adjust this, you can push it up if you have to, push it down, whatever. Once you got it, cinch that up pretty snug, and then hold this up there again. We're going to hold it up there and see if it's in the right spot. I'm looking down here at the bottom, and that looks good. The top looks good, see? If, if anything, if I needed to, I can loosen this back up, readjust this little bit, fudge it just ever so slightly one way or another. Okay, once you've got it, you can tighten that up. Remember, that whole thing is facing up and down, and the top faces up because it's bigger. It's designed to hold pressure at the top. That's where the holding power is. Okay? All right, snug that up. Now we're going to see... We can just go ahead and put those screws on. 
And once you set those, put we're going to put this one on here. Let's go ahead and do it. And worst case scenario, if one is slightly not fitting, then you know you've got to take it back off and readjust one of these backing plates. You know, don't try to, don't try to force anything, okay? Get this started here. This this will this will be our test anyways. We'll get that one going. Okay. Now I'm not gonna make that tight all the way. I'm just gonna go down here, hold this one here, get myself another another uh, screw and washer. It comes with little washers. Got the washers for a reason, so go ahead and use it. Okay. Uh, looks pretty snug there. There it goes. Okay. Now it looks like I'm all set. I think the other ones are going to fit just fine. That one's slightly off. This one down at the bottom. And I think, I think it's going to go. We'll try it. See if I can't get the screw in there. Huh. And if I can't, worst case scenario, I'm going to have to take this off and move this bracket ever so little facing downward. Yeah, see that one is, is best right there. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Okay, this one here, I've got to swivel down just a pinch. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 